What do you think the coolest <laughs> thing you can pull out on a scroll is? Body count? Yeah, your list of <laughs> Elizabeth Delta Gamma. <laughs> Guys, we're going on tour. Guys, the tour. Michael and I are going on tour. Instead of reading our own tour dates, which we have, we're now doing a together tour. It's a 10-show East Coast run. Starting December 2nd, ending on December 12th. Guys, it's going to be me and Trevor doing individual stand-up, and we're doing a live freaking podcast taping. It's going to be insane. We're going to play insane games, insane crowd, crowd interactions. interactions. It's going to be All crazy. All your favorites. Jack's going to be there. And sitting in the corner, dude. Who knows what he's gonna be doing? Be hitting his head on cement. Who gives a <laughs> shit? Okay, but Special dude, we're guys, dude, you guys don't get it. We're doing a live set. It's three shows of price one. Michael Blossom, headliner. Me, Trevor Walls, headliner. Sip Sox podcast, headliner. Headliner. Three shows for the price of one. Let's read the cities. Let's do it. Go ahead. December 2nd, Albany, New York. December 3rd, Burlington Coat Factory, Vermont. December 4th, Portland, Maine. December 5th, Providence, Rhode Island. December 6th, New Haven, Connecticut. December 7th, New York, New York. Trev? New York City. Uh, December 8th, Bethlehem, PA, Pennsylvania. That's where Jesus was founded. Born. December 9th, Red Bank, New Jersey. December 10th, Charlottesville, Virginia. Take it short. No comments. December 11th, Knoxville, Tennessee. December 12th, Atlanta, Georgia. We are covering the East Coast. And listen, guys, there's more to come, but we got to start somewhere. And fly out. If, if, if you're yeah. in Washington being like, no Washington dates, fly out. The best part about getting a haircut in New York is you come out of the haircut place and you, and you just around. get to walk around and no one looks at you. But you look at yourself in all the reflection. There's so much reflection in New York City, buddy. Yeah, everybody's oh my sweaty. You can look off their foreheads. Dude, if I get a haircut, I'm doing errands. I've been, I'm doing shit that I've been putting out for seven months. Yep. Oh, my cat finally got to go to the vet. Looks like I'm checking out some other pup. <laughs> hey! <laughs> dude, the vet dude got put And not, uh, not counting, not talking about goddamn cats. You walk into a vet, some people, no. But some people. Oh, oh, oh. Hot women. Yeah, reading books. Catcher yeah. in the rye. Better catch something else. Dude. Yeah, when I get a haircut, it's, it's like. It hijacks my brain. I'm like, dude, it's just a haircut. Like, you've gotten, like, hundreds of these in your lifetime. Then you look in the mirror, and you're like, why am I not getting head yesterday? Yeah, the fact that you don't get head while you're getting a haircut is crazy. No. That's what we should do. You know those no, sport God, cuts? Stop. You know those sport cuts where they're like, oh. Throw I'm, cuts. Yeah, but, yeah exactly. But like, Throw cuts. But they're like, hey, what about a a uh, hot towel? Shut up and give me a hand job. Dude, what about the ones where they dress up like a referee and they cut your hair? Yeah, that's what these four cuts. Why? I feel so dumb. You look dumb as fucking in a haircut. You just sit there with a little cape on backwards. <laughs> you I got a reverse mullet. I also feel weird t- like taking my phone out because I feel like I feel like I take my nah, phone off. Shit. They're gonna they're gonna fuck me up. So you just sit there and just go full do not disturb mode. I do, but I just try to talk to my man. Huh? Yeah. About what? I don't know. We keep having the same conversation. I, don't, I think. He, yeah, that's pretty accurate. Yeah, he's like, oh, so I've been to Italy recently. I'm like, I know that. You told me last time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start yeah. telling people that. Hey, hey. Nah, you I hate are... that though. What? But you ever you ever just do that? You're like on a date or you're with your, I mean, lady. I mean, you listen to your girl every single sentence because you never forget anything. But there like, you go. Never forget or, 9-11. Or, but there was times. Take a drone sale now. <laughs> Sorry. But there were times where you'd be on a date and they would like say something and you'd be like, wait, what? I'm like, I, Trevor, I told you this. My brother lives in Kansas City. And you're like. Look, I've been on three dates with different hosts. <laughs> How the f*** am I supposed to remember your dumb I brother? got such a bad memory. My man got memory for hoes. Yes. Dude, wow. I'm sick of that. You know what we need? We need AI for hoes. Oh, interesting. What's like that you take? Put, you, put, <laughs> you put your phone on the table, yeah. and then it records the conversation, and it categorizes everything. You, this hoe brother lives in <laughs> At GBC. Yeah. But you know what I mean? So then you just look. It's like, <laughs> it's like when you're doing a... Uh, dude, also, I went to... Th- Vet, this motherfucker's using uh, Chad GPT for like notes. And he's like, oh, do you yeah. mind if I record? Uh, it's good for my notes. No, it's not good for your notes. You're lazy. Type, you f- Don't you use Chad GPT a lot? All the time. <laughs> I'm not a vet. I'm not in charge of my dog's well, life. Isn't that funny? There's certain jobs where you're like, what the f- you can't do that. But then there's certain jobs where you're like, yeah, go ahead, man. Yeah. Yeah. A Uber driver? No, get him out of here. Whammo, done. But a vet? Stop. Like, I want you to be focused. I don't want you to do e. That's what you know what, what it is to me? Doing? It's an easy way out. And then that makes me think that what you do easy way about? out. What's up? Oh, I see what you're saying. You know what I mean? Like, what was he writing down? No, like, it, just just what was happening in the room. Like, he mean? was like, 
like we went in because Gigi was having a cough, right? So he puts the phone down, and so he doesn't have to do notes after, um, after the uh, I was gonna say session after the appointment. Because so if he, you're, he just voice memoed it. Essentially, voice memo, but it's like a, it's like an app that re- like records the whole conversation and then synthesizes, uh, summarizes. Sorry, uh, what happened in the room. That. What's up? I don't hate that. It just makes me. I don't. I'm not ready for that yet. It makes me feel like you are lazy, or you're futuristic. May, or or going to give Gigi a little V8 engine. Oh, that would be sick. Yeah, I hear that. It's just new. Anytime you see something new, you're like, whoa, what's going on here? I know. I don't like it. It's like I don't you like go to Whole Foods and they're like, do you want to pay with your palm? What the fuck did you say to me? It can scan your palm and somehow has like, it's like face ID, but on 10. Everyone stop trying to take my data. I want to buy bananas. Stop fucking with me. Everything me you got to make an account for. Everything you got to D. Are you a rewards member? No. What the fuck? Am I a rewards member? I had yogurt for dinner last night. I need rewards. Be my member. When people, what, I never. Hey, hey, do you want to sign up? No. Dude, I, I feel like, are we that age where it's just like, I just want to wear a t-shirt around that just says no on it? Yeah. And then when, you, hi, did you, no. And did you want to add cream? No. And did you want to donate? No. Any what questions? What about the local parakeets at the San Francisco Zoo? No. Kill them all. <laughs> Kill them all. Anyone no that's on the any- front and then I have a gun on the back. Yeah, oh, no, I just want, I have a gun on the front. That's it. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. I mean, anyone that's standing out front of a grocery store asking me a question, stop. I, they they got to spice it up. Yeah. Switch it up. Yeah. Stand out there with a stripper pole. Like when Santa has like the bell, yeah. we see you. Yeah. Hi. Ding, 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 ding. I don't believe you. That's the problem. I don't believe any of this. Oh, this you don't is for- Santa? <laughs> what the hell? No, but I don't believe like you're saying, oh, I'm taking money for the kids. Word, show me. Show me the kids. And then also, why do you have the kids? Correct. You know what I mean? I have a gun. Stop trying to fuck me in the ass. Do you and think it, anybody's ever shown up to get pegs with bike pegs? And they're like, what do you mean? Probably. No Dude, people are dumb. Fucks him up. People are dumb. Yeah. People are dumb. Everything's been happening. Oh, what's a cookie? I've been, I've been, I've been accepting I've been, I've been cookies. Yelling about it. Nobody knows. I literally yelled on my phone the other day about it. Where it's like, I, I just want to hit accept yes forever. Why does every single account have to ask for my cookies? But Why can't I just want to be... I don't know what a cookie is. Why is it on every website? Why can't I just click yes into perpetuity? Build a Bear Workshop has cookies. Qdoba.com has cookies. Bed Bath & Beyond, well, they're out of business. R.I.P. That's sad as also, shit. Also, I just bought something about Bed Bath & Beyond, but they're, they're like, all stores closing. And then they sent me something. The package looked like shit. Can you I was still like, can I return it? Can you still buy? Do people? What? I bought linens on there. I'm such a guy. I, I was like, I need new bed sheets. I don't know where to go. Ask me why I need new bed sheets. Ask me. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me get it. Let me get it. Trev. Bed sheets. Trev, why do you need new bed sheets? I don't put too many miles on mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, uh, they, they, I loved them. They were from Target, but like, they were like those ones that feel like a t shirt. You yeah. Know what I, mean? I, I love it. I know exactly. What I, about. dude, honestly, they were like 20 bucks. I had them for like five years. A lot of mileage on it. <laughs> A lot of relationships, love it. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if you when you wash them enough, they start to like pill up a little bit. Yeah, and I was like, man, fuck, that's when it's uncomfortable. And then I got some new one. I, I don't know wh- wh- if you were a guy, which you are. Take two. Uh, keep it in. <laughs> Where would you buy bed sheets right now? You have no idea. You're like, I just want to buy them online. I would probably go to Amazon. So I did that on Amazon at first, okay. and then it was like, it'll be here tomorrow, and then I got a notification, it'll be here October 18th. <laughs> no, what am I supposed to sleep on a mattress? Which I've done. What's Bezos doing? Is he handcrafting these bitches? Bezos. Bezos is balls deep in that woman with fat tits. In Miami? In Miami. So what? when Amazon fucked me over, I go, all right. Well, what, uh, linens, Bed Bath & Beyond. I go to their website. They're like, we're closed. But also buy something. Crazy. How do you return it if you want? I mean, you don't. You just send it to a Spirit Halloween? <laughs> dude spirit halloween i tried to make this a sketch and maybe we'll do it this year but it's like spirit halloween like casting like new places they just see like a closed down building and they just run up <laughs> slap a giant sign on it we got a laugh from jack we'll do it we'll do it but what it are libraries on my feet eventually are libraries still here and yeah. who's going to them pedophiles great dude it's kind of crazy how pedophiles and homeless people they hang out at the same place free is there a pedophile that has a lot of money? That's a crazy question. Of what do you mean? Do. Yes. Every yeah, most, CEO most ever. Of them do, yeah. Jack probably. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just kidding. <clears throat> Cut that part about Jack. I don't want him outed. Um, <laughs> 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 leave it in. Got a good pop. Isn't that funny? It gets a good laugh. 
<laughs> if I get a good laugh on anything, keep it in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if Dude, I'm I'll on say, stage and I fall. Correct. correct. And I slip and I go, whoa, and I kind of shart my pants and I'm wearing white pants after Labor Day and it gets a big pop. Write it in the set list. Buddy, I like move the wire in a weird way, just kind of f being silly, fucking around, and people laugh. Cool. Now I'm a wire guy. Yeah. Now I'm now I'm a jump rope wire guy yeah. moving the wires around. Well, now when we do our tour and we go wireless mic, you go, no, 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 no. God damn. Man, I'm so tired of my load being lowercase. You know what I need? Load boost. What the hell is it? This sound is brought to you by Load Boost. Have you ever wanted a more explosive orgasm but feel like, like a firecracker when you want to be dino? My introducing <laughs> Load Boost, formulated by U.S. licensed medical doctors at VB Health. Okay, Load Boost, it's a favorite supplement of the adult film stars that need to finish like a fire hose. Last Buddy, word, hose. This also helps the taste, the and volume, volume, and, and health. health of your semen. Load Boost is what you've been looking for. Buddy, I've taken it, okay? And it boosts my freaking load, okay? I'm telling you, I'm I'm hitting drywall, all right? Yeah. People are like, whoa, From are you hitting downtown. drywall with, with your freaking fist because you're angry? No, I'm hitting it with my semen, dude. It's crazy. Load boost is incredible. BB Health has a simple mission. Create supplements that work. Load boost is doctor formulated using scientifically backed ingredients. All of VB supplements are made in CGMP certified manufacturing facilities to ensure the purity and safety for their products. We use it, and so should you. Okay, so visit loadboost.com and use code Stiff Socks for 10% off, or click the link in the episode description. That's loadboost.com and use Stiff Socks to code for 10% off. Turn that bedroom meh into another round, please. Load Boost got you covered and her covered. God damn. Dude, I remember the first time early on I had a bit about uh, probably using the mic stand as my dick or something. Good. Something. Good. Early on, you know, when you're like, yeah. this, these are my props. Or it's like, I need a stool or something. And then you do that first gig when it's not there and you're like, oh, no. Yeah. Or I needed a cord or something. You're like, what do I, what do, I do now? Dude, I used to never wear hats when I first started doing stand-up. I remember this, yeah. Like 2017 because I had a joke about how my hair looked. And I was like, if I have the hat on, you got to take it off. I'm like, Ugh. You get the joke now? It's funny. That's why I love when people have like, I'm a bald guy jokes and they're wearing a hat and they always have to take their hat off. It's like fucking, dude, I, I had a joke. Um, Oh, oh, dude, I went. Yeah, that's why I stopped doing I have a big dick joke. <laughs> you just have to show everyone? Yeah. What are you saying? Uh, oh, I just had a joke where like, I, this is the dumbest thing ever because obviously most shows you have fucking microphones, but there was a show that I did actually in LA in a fucking pizza place so long ago. For some odd reason, no mic. No mic. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, fuck. I had to do like 30 minutes with no mic. And I'm like, oh, I. You don't realize I, how weird it is. Dude, that, but also you don't realize how much, I don't realize, I didn't realize how much I used the mic for like, to make different, like my voice octaves go up and like cover the mic a little bit to make my voice deeper, like all that Should kind of shit. like a pepperoni slicer. I'm like, yeah, man, this, you know, that's great. <laughs> the, I, I'm, I think I've said this before, but there used to be an audition at a comedy club in Pasadena at the old ice house, which they done fucked up ruined it uh they used to their auditions weren't they didn't have a mic so i held a candle what, what? they had like the candles that were like on the tables that would like dimly light the room i like held that as if it was a mic because it felt more comfortable hold on, hold on why were they auditioning with no microphones i don't know you know when you go to like a theater and they're like oh the sound guy's not here until like six yeah and you're like okay but like can we get a mic they're like that's a, that's a sound guy thing. it was like it would all be it would blew it blew my mind too but it would be the the microphone and the stand and the cord like weren't just weren't there at four p.m. It was on like the first Saturday or something. Oh oh oh! So they just like didn't have it was on the, in the closet or some shit. No, it was on the oh yeah exactly. But oh. it was on the stage like in the main room, and you'd be like, "Holy fuck!" And nobody used the mic, but I saw somebody before me like hold a can, and I was like, "Oh, I guess like it's just holding something." It does feel super weird to do stand up with no. Like sometimes I have it in the mic stand. Well, I should start with like, "Hear ye, hear ye!" The British are coming. Hundred percent. Where's my scroll? Scrolls are a real thing. It's so cool. I mean, it is kind of sick. What do you think the coolest <laughs> thing you can pull out on a scroll is? Body count? Yeah, your list of fucking... <laughs> Elizabeth! <laughs> Delta Gamma! <laughs> <laughs> fucking crushing this episode. <laughs> With all the debates going on, how would you prepare for a debate if you're a president? Are, like, do you think it's like a big set for them? Are they getting like shoulder massages? Oh, dude, I mean, I don't you even, think I, I, they are, they are memorizing their face off. Hold on. Can I ask you this? 
everything's fake, right? So All they right. know the questions ahead of time. You, they you, have the fucking teleprompter rolling. Like, are they even prepping or they're just reading the teleprompter? I think their preps are for the unprepped. You know, when, okay. when somebody throws a question back or a bottle, they go, oh, well, you know, sir or ma'am, well, what about this? Then you got to on your on the fly. Oh, fuck. Got a rebuttal. Dude, which was moderated by Jake Paul. I would watch it. Sure. How do you how do you prep? For, I, have, I have no idea. How do you know? Why the fuck would you run for president? <laughs> what is that? It seems like there's going to be a more modern day debate, though. There's going to be a more fun, like, oh, are we just stand on a podium and go, well, actually, well, actually, well, actually. I think someone says, yes, they won that point, and the other person gets to slap the other person in the face. That, power, that power slap. Watch. Power slap. Yeah. Yeah. To like, me, the debate, I just look for the one liners. I love the good zings that they do to each other. What do you mean, they? Yeah, like, there's no it's just about it's one, one person. Singer. Oh, true. <laughs> the, true. The crazy part ever is. It never used to be like this. No, no. What was it before? Was it just It was like, just a very presidential, hello, how are you? I, yeah. I saw your wife. But I kind of like beautiful. that it's going in like a more like fucking, hell yeah, way, you know? Like, it'll be on fucking Rumble Sports in two weeks. Yeah. I, I, it is, it is, it is, an, it's just an odd, it's just such a crazy fucking switch. Like that one dude that we all know switched it up. And now everyone's like, all right, I guess this is what debates are. It's a fucking wilding out episode that doesn't air on MTV. Like, that's literally what it is. Yeah. You're just making wow, fun of the other person. Wow. Do, do they even step, do they even like stay on policy? Dude, what if they had a ring girl? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> they should. We get more freaking views. Dude, it's Jill. Hey, yo. What does Jill Biden look like? Can I see a photo? Bring it up. Can I see one uh, back in her college heyday? I think Joe back in the day was a piece. Wasn't he hot? I think most politicians were pieces back no. in the day. No. Really? You think Teddy Roosevelt was a piece? Both of them were trash. But- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right? Also, it's crazy that he's you know still our president. Wait, we haven't wait. seen him. In- Go left. Uh, left. This then, one? Dude. Yeah, he looks okay. like a stud right there. Well, he looks better there than he did in the other one. He looks fucking chill. I've never seen a president with a hat on. That's a lie. No, Ed, no, that is. I, I don't remember. Trump always wears red. <laughs> yeah, the red hat. Oh, hilarious! <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm like, oh. Wait, can you just type in young Theodore Roosevelt of age eighteen? And when we're done this, type in hottest presidents and let's rank these bitches. Young Theodore Roosevelt. Holy shit! Trash. What? That Him? mustache, dude. He looks like a punter for Ole Miss. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crazy look. What is the hair doing? What is that? It's Aren't those like mutton chops or mutton some mutton shit? Chops. That's what you should do. What? Mutton chops. Mutton chop Mikey. Mikey mutton chops. Mike. Can I just Google mutton chops? Why? Isn't it just such a crazy look that there had to be a reason? Oh, it was just a statement. Oh yeah, Irish cool. love a good mutton chop. <laughs> yeah, what like what, I don't. How was it popularized? It's just a statement. Wait, scroll stuff. up. Oh, it's a name for a resemblance of the cut of meat from a sheep's rib and backbone. <laughs> what is even happening? Yeah, let me get a T-bone steak uh, lined up on my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Elvis had some great ones. Elvis, you ever seen hot. Young Elvis? Holy bitch hot. tits! We, who who did Elvis date? Well, his cousin. Wait. Yep. Was it not good? He married his Wait, cousin. Was it actually? Yeah. Oh Jesus. Am I stupid? I don't. I'd have never heard that. Just they type would. in Elvis married cousin <laughs> question mark <laughs> okay. POV oiled up 4K. <laughs> they are, they're not cousins, but they. She was like 14 when they met. I know, like uh, his her dad was like. What a, if that was his cover up to try to get out of it? <laughs> oh, it's my cousin. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, like, what's his name when he did it? He's like, I'm You gay. ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> <laughs> I love Crash Elvis. all the time. Dude, it's so good. I dressed good. up as Elvis when I was, uh, it was my Halloween costume in second grade. Really? I never said this, dude. I had, no. a, I had a denim jacket that my mom painted gold. I used to tell I the people at Supercuts. I used to tell the people at Supercuts to leave this, the sideburns long. I didn't have fucking sideburns. I just would have like a little yeah. bit of hair longer on, on like the down here. I love these She's stories. Doing, you want sideburns? I mean, yeah, I loved Elvis. He was my Matt Rife. <laughs> <laughs> I loved Elvis, and like so many people did. I don't. I don't know. I just. I don't even. I knew like two of his songs. I was just fascinated by him and like the spotlight and like. Did you watch the the movie? 
With Austin Butler? Yeah. Nah, I grew out of that face. Oh, really? You don't like him anymore? He's no, I don't, I don't fascinating not, dude. I don't not not like him, but um, yeah, he's very fascinating. His music was fire. I remember the the first, that was like one of the first things my mom played for me. Like, I remember the first, like, the musical, like, around the house was Elvis Presley. Yeah. Fuck, that shit went hard. I mean, he took it from another culture, but it still went really hard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he, and, uh, he problematic. Sir. Here's Cousin the thing. 15 stole music? Stole all of it. But the thing is, is he got away with it because there's no internet. People don't get away with Funny. shit now. Funny. You can't get away with shit. Funny. Like, Terrible. someone tried to cancel it. Hey, hey, you're canceled. All right. We'd shoot him and no one know. You know how many people died? How, what's they he didn't have DNA Spotify? tests. Is he still cranking on Spotify? Sir. He's murdering. What was that place he has in fucking Memphis? What's it called? The Prairie? The Grand fucking- Grand Opry? No, this is a Graceland. Dude, people, you imagine being so famous that your house becomes a museum? Is it? That's wild. You buy an estate, wow. it's where you live. Dude, guess what he's doing on Spotify still to this 20 day. mil. 25.4 mil. That's awesome. What's his biggest track? Can help falling in love with you. Goddamn. This next ad is brought to you by Prize Picks. What is Prize Picks? It is America's number one daily fantasy sports app with over 5 million active members. That's Prize awesome. Picks is the easiest and the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Unlike these other apps on Prize Picks, it's just you against the numbers. Just That's you it. against the numbers. All you have to do is pick more or less on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. You don't know a ton about sports. No shots, but you don't know a ton about sports. And this is so freaking, he just shot me. This is so freaking easy. And here's the thing. I don't know about football. Nothing. And let me tell you something. I am so excited for the football season because it's already started and I've already been using freaking prize picks and my winnings are rolling in, dude. You can now win up to 100x your money on prize picks with as little as four correct picks. Prize picks is the best way to get action on sports in most states, including California, Texas, and Georgia. Listen, want to play amongst Drewski, Joe Budden, MMA champ, Sugar Sean O'Malley? You can now find community plays under the promo tabs of the app to view entries from some of your biggest favorite names in the prize picks community each week. Plus, prize picks puts their members first. So withdrawals are fast, safe, and secure. Pull out. You get it. When my picks hit, I can get my money in as quick as 15 minutes. And that's why I'm freaking excited for the NFL season, dude. Let me see. I'm going Tyreek Hill for more than 90 receiving yards and Dak Prescott for more than 263 passing yards, okay? I'm stoked and so should you. So, download the prospect app today and use code SOCKS and get $50 instantly when you play just $5. Okay, that is code socks on prize picks to get $50 instantly when you only play $5. Okay, you don't even need to win to receive the $50 bonus. It is guaranteed. Prize picks, run your game. But up, but up, bump, bump, but goddamn. That's so, I mean, like, if you're a girl and a guy writes a song about you, are you like fucking hot or you're like fucking simp? That really depends on what the song is. That's true. And depends on what, well, dude. Your dating yeah. musician's got to be interesting because you like fuck up and like, I just give her a hit. And then you're like super lovey and they're like, the love of my life. It is, it's, it is really, I, I had a movie idea where I wanted the person to get really famous because they were like depressed and then they meet like the love of their life. And then the record company kills the husband so she can write another hit record. Dude, that's really good. Thanks, man. And then at the end, they real he was never dead. But she yeah. made the hit. And she looks out in the crowd one day, and there okay. he is. And then she started <laughs> doing crowd work. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? Dude, dude I, I love Hell! A, I love a good like movie plot. And then you're like, dude, you should make that. And then you think about what it takes to make a movie no. and writing a script, and you're like, I'm exhausted thinking Buddy, about it's it. It's not even the right. Gotta sit in coffee shops. Interior day. Chuck E. Cheese. And then <laughs> <laughs> dialogue. Wow, these kids are hot. <laughs> Is that the Elvis movie? Yep. <laughs> it was a family reunion, and she walked in. I, I also. This is the crazy part. Cause I made one movie in my life. The thing that's crazy is you start with an idea, you write a script, and then you have to continually love that idea Dude. for. <sighs> Three years. I think about that all the time. The one thing I did this la last year on the movie was it took start to finish five years. No. Nah. There's a fluffy thing in the air. I don't think I've ever loved anything for more than five years. 
It's the saddest thing I've ever heard. Have you? Yeah, my mom. <laughs> my sister, not, not my brother. Oh, not sexually? Yeah. All right, then I'm out. I don't, yeah, I'm I don't saying, have well, that's like forced love. No, I... Jesus Christ. Not forced love, but like, I, you're, I like, you're, like you're born into it. I understand what you're saying. I love you. Yeah. I'm saying like outside of family. Have you ever had a relationship over five years? No. That's what I thought. Yeah. Welcome to Hollywood. <laughs> What's up, man? Yeah, I mean, but, dude, that... But it is. I... You know what I mean? No, I, I hear. I hear. One idea? Like, liking, liking one idea. I mean, dude, that's like liking. Think about liking a bit for more than oh, five I think years. I like a bitch. <laughs> no, no, like a bit. Think about think yeah. Coming up with a bit. And then, dude, dude, I write one new bit. It starts working in uh, two months. And I'm like, but cool. Also, throw this in the fucking garbage. So, but, but, and a lot of times you have a bit that you like, but a new one is even better and it kicks it out of the way. Yeah. Goodbye. So there's nothing. There's it's nothing like, wrong that's with that like first bitches. Bit. Couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you. Yeah, we're doing the debates live. How What's many hoes is too many hoes? But uh, what were you going to say? I don't know. I was going to ask what what an epitaph is. I, I don't know why that came to my head. Uh, I don't know, but it's a thing in the astrology sign. But I've been, <laughs> I've been in pitches where I'm pitching a show. Baseball? I... <laughs> See Reich! Well, I don't even like this show anymore oh, because it's oh, taking yeah. so fucking long. Yeah. To, like, dude, this idea would be fun as fuck. And then it's like a year and a half later and some guy's like, well, you know, you know, you, you casted a, uh, you know, you had a cat to play that role. Do you think you could do a role that's more inclusive to maybe a dog? Just buy the show and you do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. You look at me like, sir, this is Tubi. Do you think I give a fuck about what you say? Your company's named Tubi, you dumb piece of shit. But you're like pitching it and they're like, so where do you see this in five years? Uh, not here. Not here. This company is not going to be here in five years. Dude, isn't that funny? Yeah, you're going to get you in trouble for Comedy jerking Cent off the Little League World Series. No one fucking wants you here. I had a pitch with Comedy Central. I'm like, you guys are still kicking. It should be comedy adjacent. You motherfuckers aren't the central. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? You just go to their page right now and just like, workaholics, the office. Workaholics, the office. South Park. Buy yeah, buying TV shows. For what? Literally for what? It blows my for mind. For your YouTube channel? You're going to take my pitch and be like, well, I don't know about this one. I don't know about your company. Huh? There are two companies that are buying That's stuff crazy. that maybe that you'd sell it to. And then everything else is like, what are you doing? I think I said this before, but YouTube just got announced as the number one streamer in the world beating Netflix. Beating Pornhub? Not, there ain't no Friday way. It's for me. There ain't no Isn't way. That crazy? Can but I? Can you? Can you Google five this? Five years, man. Can you Google this really quickly? The amount of time, uh, I guess, like minutes watched, websites. Uh, yes, you're totally right. It's got to be like Netflix is a fucking full ass movies, but I think Pornhub's got to be in the top like five. It's gonna be some weird shit like Club Penguin. <laughs> and I will say there are pitches that I, I go, I love this idea, and I still love this idea. But sometimes it was like fashion was like, ooh, this could be cool. In four days, like this does not matter. Yeah, because also the the because you pitch it or you pitch it, like a production meets involved, and then they like, how about this? And they kind of twist it that way. And you're like, okay, that works, works. And then all of a sudden, you're like, and they twist it to a point where like, it's I don't even fucking telephone. like this shit. The original idea to where it starts after like seven meetings, it's like this was a supposed to be a you know an, an episodic funny sketch film. Now it's about zoo animals in North Dakota. And th yeah, and then you pitch it to me this way because, oh, the, well, these networks are buying about zoo animals and all of a sudden, like, I guess it could be zoo animals. Yeah. And then it becomes like not real. Not not that it's not your idea, but they they put their hands all over it. Yeah. And you had a perfectly made soup and all of a sudden like, oh, what about with cheddar cheese? You go, okay, I guess we'll put it in there. Oh, the, what about bacon bits? Oh, okay. Yeah. And all of a sudden you look at it, you're like, jambalaya? Yeah, you this was tomato Nick's soup. Crony. Here are the most visited sites from 2024. Number one, Google. But what do you spend? You just on Google. Yeah, people spend a ton of time. Could you Google Doing something and what? then read the results and shit? I spend a ton of time on Google. Not anymore. Fuck Google. But Google's like the connector. Oh, hold up. Number eleven is what? Oh, number seven. Number seven, dog. Oh, hold up. So number one, Google. Number two, YouTube. Dot com. Trevor Walls. Go watch anything I do on there. Number three, Facebook. Boomers be online. Boomers be online. Number four, Wikipedia. Wikipedia, you are asking for money and you're the fourth viewed site in the world? Bitch, what? Dude, what's kind of crazy is this the second show, the back half, the back nine, dare I say, of this top ten. <laughs> number five, Instagram checks out. Uh, number six, Reddit. Okay, we're starting to get into the weird tech with the weird categories. And here we go. Number seven, the old P 
star, 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 hub. The old hub. And the, it is Bing? What the fuck is Bing.com? in the fuck Bing is bong. using Bing? I mean, what apparently is, a lot Bing? of people. The what only is Bing, Bing I know com? is Chandler Bing. I'm crushing. The, <clears throat> like, Bing.com, I think it's a, like Google. It's, yeah, it's oh, Microsoft's uh, search engine. So They're I think proprietary. I've never heard anybody in my life be like, yo, can you Bing that real quick? But I yeah, think you? when you first open like Apple's or Microsoft's Safari type thing, it goes right to Bing. So these are most people in the office. Can you open up a tab and go to Bing.com? See if I've ever seen it this. It just interface. brings you to the government. <laughs> oh. It's literally just any anything. It looks that, outdated and modern what, at the same time. What Microsoft does is all they do is they just watch for something that works and they just copy it. This just looks like Google. Looks have, like you seen Microsoft, the have you seen Microsoft stores? They're Apple stores. It's really? cr oh dude, it's crazy. Nobody's doing anything new. Go back to the top ten, please. I think this looks better than Google, to be honest. No, I like Google's simplicity. It's just a white screen. Wherever your journey lies ahead of us. Uh, number 10 or number nine, Twitter. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I like that it says x.com and you just still said Twitter. It's Twitter. <laughs> it's Twitter to me. You, you, know how, can't, you know how dumb I am? I'm sorry to interrupt. You know how dumb I am? You thought it was X and X, X I thought it was porn. <laughs> I literally thought it was porn. Well, lucky for you, two down, xvideos.com is. Let's go. What's uh, WhatsApp.com. WhatsApp I'll tell you WhatsApp. Me cranking my shit to number 11. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Google? Is this like on like a desktop? Who's going to WhatsApp.com or is it just an app? Do you know uh, what I mean? Yeah. I well, guess the it's same, I guess, the same yeah. for Instagram.com. Oh, yeah. I guess um, it's all the same. Yahoo. You think Amazon would be higher? Twitter.com still up there somehow, even though X is on there. DuckDuckGo.com. I mean, what in the Elvis dating his cousin is that? Buddy, Chat that, GBT. Is, that is literally the DuckDuckGo people is QAnon. What is DuckDuckGo? It's a site. It's like an unfiltered Google. Yeah, it doesn't ask for your cookies. It doesn't track anything. No data. It also gives you the right the right order of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like really? there's a ton of paid shit on Google. So look, it's what we talked about last time, eh. right? So DuckDuckGo goes none of that. Interesting, uh, dude. Next year, I feel like ChatGPT is going to be way higher. Yeah. And then you got number seven TikTok. I feel like that should be higher, no? You'd think. I think maybe last year they're probably higher. I I I think TikTok was on the decline. <laughs> This is also uh, all desktop, so it's probably hey. not a lot. Oh, so you know what's funny? Is all desktop? Yes. God damn. Man, I love going to concerts. Do you? Yeah. Absolutely. Game Time sponsors this podcast. They also have a new feature called Game Time Picks that makes getting tickets for concerts and events even easier. Game Time Picks filters out all that fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats, so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. F all that, man. And my favorite thing about game times, they show you the POV, the Thank point of view. God. They show you what you're going to see, which is great. Enough of this blind ticket buying. What am I going to see? A pillar? The back of a Philadelphia Eagles head? You got to use prize picks, okay? The interface is incredible. We use it. And again, so should you. It's got all in pricing, okay? So toggle this feature shows a total upfront with no surprise fees at checkout. I'm so freaking sick of surprise fees. And that's why game time is incredible, okay? As, as Trev said, they got the seat views and the lowest price guarantee or game time will credit you 110% of what? the difference. That is right, guys. 110% of the difference. You know, I love they also have game time ticket coverage. Your purchase is covered with the most flexible customer service policy in the ticketing industry okay they also have concerts sports comedy theater you name it they got it all right so we're gonna hook you guys up today you can download the game time app or go to gametime.co create an account and use promo code socks for twenty dollars off your first purchase terms apply again create an account and redeem code socks s-o-c-k-s for twenty dollars off download game time today what time is it game, game time. time god damn I was watching YouTube shorts on my TV last night. No, you weren't. That's that's cooked. I mean, that is that is the. Uh, well, I'll tell you what it was. I was trying to watch um, fucking Kill Tony last night on my TV, and when I opened my YouTube app, it showed one of my shorts, and I was like, "Oh, dude, that's me!" And I, <laughs> I clicked to play it, and it was on some other channel, and then it was like, "Hit down for the next video." And I was like, "Whoa, how does this work?" And then I'm just scrolling, and then I'm just sitting there just watching shorts <laughs> on my TV. It was kind of electric. I was like, "I get the boomer life," you know, because like you're so like you're so tired of your phone like yeah. leaving an imprint on your fucking. Your, your, your pinky yeah, yeah. and it's heavy and it's this dude it was kind of nice it was kind of vibey to just sit there and be like yeah hell yeah YouTube sure ding 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 ding, <laughs> ding, ding. try it don't knock it till you try it I feel like do it you, would hit do different you, do you think at some point yeah, do you like think it. at some point they're gonna make TVs vertical 
I, yeah, absolutely. Or they'll be on a swivel, and you can. Spin oh it. yeah. I think we're all going to go to movie theaters in the future, and they're going to be vertical, and then we're just, and then if you want to watch it like you know widescreen, you just turn your head. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny. I mean, I don't oh, know. If, I, I wanted to write a bit about this. How all TVs, TVs aren't shit anymore. TVs are just like a menu at a kebab shop. Yeah. <laughs> like it's so disrespectful that it used to be like it's such a high priority like it, like dude if your friend had a flat screen growing up you're like holy shit is your dad the mayor of fucking Sacramento like how did you get a, t- a flat screen TV and now you walk into a restaurant it's like what type of boba do you want it's on a sideways TV <laughs> and the TV was $12 it's you imagine being a TV up there being like man I used to play Gladiator yes place because he played dude the, there's then nothing else. There's nothing else. This motherfucker plays the it's same thing over and over TVs and over as a fucking menu than it is to have somebody like Paper. graphic design. Yeah, yeah. And which I don't like because now they can change the price on it more. Like you know an OG. Oh, you know what I mean? Right. Switch it out because usually when when they were like hardwired jesus christ when they would like print it out they would have to like cut out a piece of paper and put it over and be like it's now not 21 dollars 22 dollars for a fucking sammy yeah dude they can slowly just raise it by like three cents two cents every fucking day you don't even know yeah well that's a big thing in walmart now they're making the price tags digital back oh oh really yeah what do you mean so like you know how their their paper now like if toilet paper is five dollars or whatever it could change the next day to like seven dollars. Bro, it's like to. the stock market. Yeah, it'll go up and down depending on supply and demand. Yeah, that's fucked. That's terrifying. Yeah. Well, I oh, thought you dude, were talking about fucked. when people like remove the rollback price, like the, the like the little tab on it, and <laughs> yeah. it's the same price. <laughs> Have you seen that? No. <laughs> dude, type in like rollback price, like the same price or whatever. But yeah, that that's also fucked inflation wise. Because then you got to like plan when you want to go to the supermarket. You're like, oh, it's, oh shit. Like, think yeah. about that. If, if everybody's shopping on Sunday and Monday nights, you're like, I don't want to go. Then supply is going to be crazy. You know, the demand's going to be high. You got to shop like Friday at like one in the morning. Oh my God. But then everyone's going to know that. Then Friday at one in the morning is going to be crazy. Oh, but then there's hoes. Yeah. <laughs> Are you are you um are you paying those extra two dollars on bananas if you know there's gonna be hose at the store? Probably, yeah. <laughs> I mean, think about clubs. Yeah, I'm think going to Lizzo mode. <laughs> Eat this out of my ass. <laughs> Can you pull up the rollback prices? Take oh. off the old tag so we can't see through the discount. Yeah, it's the same price. Fuck you. But it's just adding like a little shine to it, because there's three fifty four and then there's <laughs> three fifty four. <laughs> Same, you know, same, same, but different. Same font. That's cr- dude, dude. They've been doing this shit for decades, bro. The not I. You know what, dude? Nothing is fucking real, and I'm 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 tired of saying it. No one believe me. Nothing's real, dude. Back to the shirt that says no, and I have a gun. Yes. Or like when you're buying something at the store, and it says it has like the price, and then it has the price in yellow, and it's like thirty cents cheaper. And you're like, oh, let me grab that one. And then you check out, and you realize, oh, that's only if you're a member. Everyone's a member. What so is it? What, I don't want to be a member of anything, unless it's a sex cult. Oh, that's so cool. And it's all women. And Patreon. But, and I'm, say, but I'm saying Patreon. You know what you're buying. It's like there's no hidden. It's not like here's an episode. Oh, psych. Only if you're a left eardrum. Like <laughs> when you're checking out at a store and like when you ask more than once. That was kind of cool. When you ask more than once, I'm pissed. What do you mean? Hey, do you want, like you have a best buy? Hey, do you want to sign up for Geek Squad? No, I'm all right. Oh, well, are you sure? Because if you sign up today, hey, come here, come here, come here. Yeah. I have an Xbox and a Glock. Which one do you want? <laughs> he, I mean, he works at Best Buy, a Glock. <laughs> but when they try to sell you, I think it's like, dude, if you want it or no, in life, one shot where you're like, hey, do you want to go on a date? Nope. Cool. Moving on. Hey, do you want to go to a baseball game? Nope. Moving on. Hey, do you want to sign up for this? Nope. Moving on. Well, are you sure you don't want to? But don't, Samantha, you're so gorgeous, and our family's DNA would be so good and incestual together. And the crazy part is, <laughs> shout you ever out heard Elvis. Elvis? Yeah. And you, and it's the crazy so part is, hot. is no one's ever. If you ask someone on a date and they go, "No, I'm okay," and you ask them again, yeah, the, no one yeah. ever like, no one ever been like, "Oh, okay, oh, yeah, you yeah, asked yeah. me twice now." No, no, no. Oh no. shit, man, he committed. If anything, she asks you to go, "Okay, all right, fine," and then you like leave. She's like, "Wait." Wait, Correct. Did? Correct. You know what I'm sick of? Anyone asking me anything, dude? I would pull up to the fucking Wendy's and and, and they don't say hello. They go, "Do you want to try the fuck you? Do I want to try? How about Michael, fuck it's Wendy's? You? No, no, no. Their patties are square. Let me <laughs> fucking put my order in. Hey, do you want to try the milk? Shut up. <laughs> it is three in the morning. I just have a fucking flight. Let me put in my nuggets. Hey, do you want? No. Are you a f- 
Are you they an oracle? To, they have to say no, that. No, they, they all have to. I'm not, I'm not shitting on them. I guess I am. They all have to. But like, <laughs> I, I'm sick of it. Yeah. Stop asking me for shit. I'm already here. Everyone's trying to upsell you on anything and everything. I'm already here. Stop it. Hey, can I just you in dessert? Shut up. The worst is at a restaurant when they say, do you want fries with that? And you're like, yeah, I'll get fries. But really, it's a $2 charge. Oh, how they, how they, well, that's how they get you with the fucking water. As Jack says, Woo. Mm. <laughs> Dude, that's how they get you. You got to listen. Did you want to do like sparkling or still? And then there's that pause and you go, or tap, yeah. you broke motherfucker. I go, yeah, give me the tap. I don't care if I'm on a fr tap. Bring it out. I go, whatever. Co I literally, I'm not joking. You. I go, yeah, I go, whatever, whatever comes out of the sink. sink. Yeah. Sink. Because if you say sparkling or still and you go still, then they bring out some fucking stupid glass bottle and you're like, how do I get rid of That is on? from the sink. Oh, you think they're just topping it off? Sir, yes. <laughs> These motherfuckers don't care about anybody, dude. Yeah, I need, I need, I need you to hear it cracked in front of Correct. me. Correct. But even a, even a, you think Fiji water's from Fiji? That motherfucker is from New Newark. New Haven? B best. Connecticut? Buy tickets out now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but but to Jack's point, they always kind of like, yeah, and did you want, yeah, they, they, they butter your bread. They're like, oh, you probably want some fries with that, don't you? Yeah. I do. <laughs> but uh, let me know the uh, price. It is just funny to be like, let's start burger and fries. And somebody's like, what if we sold them separately? <laughs> that is crazy. When did that happen? <laughs> but, but, but then you order just a burger and you feel fucking insane. You're like, I'm just going to take a bite of a burger again and again with no fries in between. I don't you even know to. if I like fries. I like fries, but like. What? But like, you ever just have a few and you're like, that's so many. Like, I like, <laughs> a, like a few side fries. Nah, I'm a, I'm a big. I, I hear your point, but I'm a big fry guy. I love. Oh. This is what actually what I want to fucking talk about on this goddamn episode. Have we ever done best fries? I was ranking the fries with my girlfriend last night, and she had a crazy take. Like, so crazy that I started laughing because I thought she was joking. Goddamn. Goddamn. What was her take? So she said... Is this pre or post tail? <laughs> we didn't do any tail. Hey. Hey. So it was like... It was, it was It was a lot of... Pre-tail, because there was no post-tail, so it's all pre-tail. Everything is pre-tail. Everything's pre-tail pre until you post-tail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like RBC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so crazy that you're just horned up talking about French fries. Uh, so what was her take? And so I go in and out. You got to break up with her. No, no, dude. I I would have been more accepting of in and out. She says to me, she says, <laughs> do it again, please. She goes. Popeyes. What? I don't know if I've had Popeyes fries. No one has. <laughs> I don't even know if they fucking sell fries. That is kind of crazy. I mean, dude, shit, immediately. She like goes, being like, yeah, I love Taco Bell's mac and cheese. For real. She goes, oh, no, come on. Hey. Wait, zoom in. They, they they, honestly, you know what? I think I've had them. They're, they're, they're pretty good. They, they have, they have a, like a Cajun season. Yeah. yeah. Well, also, like um, five guys. what did you do last night? Uh, <laughs> fucking crushing, dude. But they have a, Popeyes has like a, a pepper ranch, <laughs> black pepper ranch with those fries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edible. Yeah, I Hedible. mean, are we including the sauces that come with the fries? No. Nah, we can't. No. Yeah, well, this is kind of like one of those, like, it's like when somebody, you're like, oh, what's your favorite fast food? And they're like, I don't know, Jersey Mike's. Like, That's, I guess, but no. Yeah. I'm talking right down the middle. What were her other go to's? We didn't, I was didn't so flabbergasted, that. I was losing my fucking mind. And then I go, and I go, bro, I don't even think Popeyes would be on anyone's top, whatever. And then we Googled the top fries and Popeyes did make the list, but I'm talking about they were like 12. And yeah. then, and then I go, oh, this is fun. And then I go, bro, you can't even guess 12 fast food restaurants. She goes, yes. And she got to like eight. Can you guess 12 fast food restaurants? I'll do it right now. Go ahead. Fuck. McDonald's, Jack in the Box, Carl's Jr., Wendy's, KFC, Popeyes, it's Arby's. Great. This is great so far. Taco Bell, Del Taco, Long John Silver's. Doesn't count. That's a, cr <laughs> that's a crazy one. <laughs> There's still Long John Silver's that exist. There's Long John Silver's. There's like three of them. And they're all in jail. <laughs> Like how airports, yeah, have, like Chick Fil A's, yeah. The jail has a Long John jail. Silver's. Yes, all right, I got ten. Um, no, a ten is Long John Silver's. Bro, look up Long John Silver's. You, you're not. You can't include that. What do you mean? They have a drive-through. 
I saw one literally in Omaha. Dude, but there's three of them. Okay, well, well, can then I do like checkers and cookout? You can do checkers? Checkers cookout. What's cookout? North I've Carolina. Heard, I've never even heard of cookout. It's like where you go uh, when you're newly divorced or hammered. <laughs> okay. Anybody in That's Raleigh every is like, fast food yeah. restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we'll go there in North Carolina. Are we going to North Carolina? No, no. but I am. North Carolina, October 18th and 19th. <laughs> Charlie, Chicago. Charlie. Ooh. Uh, Zaxby's? Zaxby's counts? I think that's 12. You're, yeah, include. you definitely have 12. That You you did phenomenal. Like, I... You, do, you did a... Like, I forgot about Del Taco. I forgot about Zaxby's. You missed uh, you missed Bojangles. You missed Whataburger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People are yelling in Texas. Waterbell! You know what's crazy? Dude... You you didn't say in and out. Did I not? No, you did not say in and out. Did. Oh, maybe I fucked up. I, I didn't hear you say in and out. In and out. Actually, I, oh, I, you didn't say Burger King. Holy shit! Did you say Wendy's? I I said Wendy's. Okay, Burger King fries are <clears throat> ass. Burger King, Burger King fries dude, are fine. I went to Burger King after a show me like a month ago, and I'm like, eh, come on. Nah, <laughs> the burgers are un. Believable. Well, I have to get mine fucking gluten free. So oh, I well, that's get crazy. Mine without the bun. So I had fries and just some meat and some fucking lettuce. It was one of the worst meals I've ever had in my life. I could see my reflection off the grease in the bag, and I was like, I want to KMS, kill myself. I, I know what that's in it for, dude. <laughs> so, do you guys want to rank your top three fries? Yeah, can you pull up the list? Okay, so number one, top five. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with. So these are our top five French fries. Yep, top five French fries. Whoa, top five French fries. Well, it's really hard to say. Top five. Top French five French fries, fries at a fast food restaurant. My number one is McDonald's. It's not even fucking close. Everyone, shut up. McDonald's is number one for me. Yeah. Um, number two is where things get a little tricky. Number two, I'm gonna go, and everyone's gonna yell at me. I'm gonna go with Chick Fil A. I really, really enjoy their fries. I don't think that's as wild. I thought you were going to say some dumb shit like Sonic because you put feet in your mouth. So statistically that, speaking, your taste buds are skewed. I think I would. Yeah, that's also true. I would think if I like toes, I would go Arby's. But I don't, I don't like. I don't really like. <laughs> I don't really like. That's curly. a different kind of meat in your mouth. <laughs> Dude. Dude, imagine getting pregnant at an Arby's. <laughs> getting what? Pregnant at an Arby's. It's happened. It's happened by the thousands. Can you Google that? Has anybody ever got pregnant at an Arby's? And play the video. <laughs> so number one for me is McDonald's. Number two is Chick Fil A. Checks no, out. Number good hearty French fry. Th Feels real, dude. I like it. And that's a yin yang. Some weight on it. Yeah. Oh, it's a little thick when you get the end cap. <laughs> oh, dude, the end cap. I save it. What? I save it till the end. You I love it, it so much. Put it in a freezer next to a woman's head. Oh God, I put it on a locket and look at it every time I'm fucking in church. I don't know what any of that matters. <laughs> Um, well, it also feels nice because number one is McDonald's. Number two, it's like the yin and yang. McDonald's is like the farthest thing from a real potato French fry. Yeah. And then, you know, you got the real one from Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Number three, what number, are you cooking? Then number three, I'm going to go Chipotle with Domino's. <laughs> I'm going to go with, oh, fuck. Guys, I'm really sorry. I'm going to go with five guys. Five guys. Five guys fries are unfucking believable They're unfucking cooked no, nah, they're cooked. They're undercooked. Bro, they throw some limp dick fries in a brown bag that the chef was just drinking out of. He took his 40 out of put in it. Type in five guys fries and just images. They're really good. Dude, look at those. They look things. real. Actually, those are those what are like good. real French fries. I've like. been to five guys in probably 10 years. Five guys prices? Wait. Out yeah. of control. Oh, yeah. Well, they got to feed five guys. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> All right, Trev, go ahead. That's your top three? Those are my top three, yes, You, know, you want me to go to five? Oh, I, I'm not bad at it. I thought we were going to top three. I don't um, know. I all right, so... Some, just rapid fire. So, uh, where am I at? Four? Four, I'm going to go with... Uh, four, I'm going to go with uh, Wendy's. I like Wendy's fries. And then five, I'm going to go with Popeye's. Girlfriend answer. <laughs> Fucking simp over here. I'm <laughs> No, I redid my order. <laughs> <laughs> all right light him my turn number one mcdonald's i agree with you on that hell um, yeah number two it, can it be fry adjacent yeah no oh, i can't two, wait for this number two and everybody shut the hell up jack and box curly fries that's a fry. Those, are fr those are definitely fries <laughs> said fry 
We got two reactions. I, I thought you were gonna say quesadillas or something. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were gonna say like home fries. No, Jack and Ma's curly fries with ranch. Like no, they're great, dude. That's and a good. It's pick. a dense fucking fry. Yeah, dude. I, when it when they they're not curly, but they're they're not they have it they haven't boinged. Yeah, they're together. Yeah. You can Dog. use that as a straw. Holy fuck. Yeah, no, they're the, so good. That, that one's great. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's I'll use see. that as a tail. What? You oh, oh, shoving sure my girlfriend's could. ass. <laughs> yeah, yep. Um, so if we're going fry adjacent, I can't. Can wait I do number three, In and Out, Animal Style? No, because that's that, you're, you're, you're okay, adding. Yeah, I you're got adding. you. Got you. Got you. I, honestly, okay. Uh, number three, I'll go Chick Fil A fries. Okay, great. I'm starving. By the way, can you show me uh, Carl's Jr.'s fries, Wendy's fries? I, just want to see. I, I think Wendy's fries are good only because I dip them in a uh, shake. Actually, Wendy's fries got that fucking foreskin on it. Wendy's fries are... Yeah. Dude, all the rest kind of suck. I mean, Wendy's maybe, but Wendy's Wendy's fries are only good because you dip them in a, a frosty. Mustard. Oh. And Wendy's fries got that little foreskin on it. They don't to be shaving the tops. Oh, wow. No Baruka. Yeah, they got Baruka head. Top for the, yeah, they got head. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, they don't fucking cirque them scissors, but um, God, Wendy's fries aren't that great. You can go up you know what? Fucking Shake Shack fries number four, which okay. I'm not happy about, but we're here. And Shake then number Shack five, not bad. yeah, the the fucking they're they reminding me of my childhood. Yeah, you know. And then number five, uh, is Shake Shack good? That's another question I would like to. Uh, <laughs> I love ask Shake Shack. You. It is, but every time I eat it, I go, was that good? I could have made that. It's the greasiest food in the world. Uh, number five, can you go back to the list? Yeah. Jack, can you type in uh, Rule Thirty Four Shake Shack? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go to the list. And and then I might want to go out of pocket on, on one of these, and I might just go like, uh, fuck. Can you go to the top ten? I don't know. I think you go Pizza Hut fries. Pizza Hut fries. Pizza Hut fries. Jack, you're fucking fried. They don't have fries. This is crazy. Uh, number five, just to piss off the comments, In and Out, because every once in a while you get a batch that's not bad. I agree, dude. I used to really, really, really dislike their fries, and I I like them now. I like. But I don't it. know what happened. It feels cleaner. They, when you eat a bunch of in and out fries, you don't feel like shit. Yeah. And, and you can feel like the tricep of the guy who was slamming away <laughs> on that station. That's why I like the, the, in, the five guys ones. Cause they, you walk in, there's a bunch of potatoes around. You go, all right. Yeah. Do you think it's fake? Do you think all the potatoes are there for just art? Please say no. Do you think they like, don't, this, there's no potatoes in there. Really? Dude. Do you think they're using real, dude, potatoes are expensive. Well, Remember the they famine? go bad. Yeah. Well, I think they actually use those potatoes. Seriously? I think so. I don't, man. I That's think also it, weird. Our feet are by it. That's all, I'm back in. Hey. I spuds. will say this. Everything's <laughs> fake. I don't believe anyone. So I don't know if those are potatoes are real. Yeah. Those potatoes probably have- Your been, girlfriend's like, I'm coming. Are you? I Get the lie detector. I never think so. No, I'm just joking. But there's but there are there are girls when I'm fucking, and you're like- oh. I want a mood ring. That's just a truth ring. <gasps> a truth Ooh. ring. Dude, that's, that's good. good. And if they're lying, it turns like red. And if they're, it's true, it's blue. Blue true. Blue true. Blue true. <laughs> blue Do you true. Think a company named Close to Blue True that I would get in trouble for? No. I think good. you're fine. God damn. God damn. Pull the hottest presidents. What is this? What, go, to the, go to the top. Hottest heads of state. Did you write this? The what? <laughs> hottest hey. what of state? Hey. Head. Who's this? So the first one Next. is Franklin Pierce. There's a, he's the hottest. He's the hottest. Everything no, is he looks ranked. like every guy in Silver Lake. Next. <laughs> he's literally trash. He looks like he's a fucking thigh tattoo and he hasn't called his mom in three weeks. Yeah, and this smells guy's like a wet cigarette. At best. This so guy looks like he likes Swiss cheese and fucking unicycles. I hate this guy. They're ranking them all on when they were in office. It's not before, after, right? It's just when they went into the Oval Office, that picture... How oh hot. yeah, trash. Yeah, well, we're JFK. Not them when Ninety-eight. Yeah. Bring them up. Well, we'd love to bring first. up young presidents. I'm just letting everyone know that this is just when they were in the Oval Office. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Number two is James K. Polk. No, this guy big head. sucks. Big head. This guy looks like he's fucking jerks off a of chamomile tea. I hate this guy. <laughs> looks like he has a bowl of chili on him at all times. Yeah, it looks like he's, I. I hate. <laughs> Did you even know that these first two were presidents? No. no. Idea. <laughs> His last name was Isn't that Polk. Disrespectful. In like fucking 300 years, nobody's going to know I was a TikToker. Nobody's 300 years? Shit. We're all going to be dead in 300 years. That's what I'm saying. Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to care. No one. All my views. You're literally dead. Views? We're all robots. <laughs> Fun fact I about- am algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fun dude, fact about- I'm going to name my daughter I was just going to say that. Finally so, have one. Dude. I like it. James Polk, I knew he was a president. Did you? I know the name Polk. Maybe I'm thinking about pork. James Polk. He created John Oregon. Polk. 
What did he do? He created, he created Oregon. Oregon. Yeah, All right. Him, we wouldn't have the Oregon Trail. I, don't, I honestly he don't like it. He created Oregon. There we go. Here's one. JFK. That's a shit fucking picture. That's so funny. It says, finally somebody you've heard of. Hilarious. <laughs> dude. This guy's... He's hot. Like He's got a jawline. Dude, This what's crazy, this guy could have been fucking uh, president, actor, movie star, OF, fucking... Look at him. Look at those kissable lips. If you keep scrolling, I'll kill you. Look at that. Look at those fucking Soft, lips. Soft, tender eyes. Oh, my God. He looks legit like... sad he got shot. Are you? Yeah. I He'd probably still fuck. be a missile today. This guy? Probably like 85, oh, Absolutely. Oh, rock yeah. it. This is Come a on, dude Phyllis. That... <laughs> go grab me my blue shoes. <laughs> this guy, like, he. I bet you he'd last a while. First of all, look at the ad up top. Boston Tea Party scented candle. We're making tragedy scented candles now. Good. Next what up, 9-11. Really <laughs> <laughs> Theo, Theodore we were just talking Roosevelt. about him. He looks better now. He looks better in that photo. Yeah, he looks like he can read really well and eat box. Like, look at that fucking Sit mustache. at a bar, drink bourbon by candlelight. Yeah, he looks like he writes poetry, but like good shit. Yeah, writes it with the Crayola. Fun fist fact out. about him, he got shot in the chest good. and his papers saved his life. His, uh, um, his speech papers. Dude, more presidents were getting gad back then. Yeah, I think it's just a thing that always happens, right? Have we gone soft as a country? <laughs> well, we just <laughs> well, pretty recently. Never mind. Yeah, pretty recently, guys. <laughs> ear shut off. Anyways, all right. Who's this guy? Ulysses S. Grant. Ooh, I, he he's he, the president. I know the name. Yeah, dude. He looks Ulysses like S. he Grant. could pipe. Like he looks like you fight a bear and then make my mom come just by looking at her. Look at that guy. Look yeah. at that. Swoop. That's somebody who goes like this, and a bear comes to him. Come here. Oh, yeah, and the bear sits down. Yeah. <laughs> he, he looks chill. There oh, we go. Barack. Number six. One. Young Barack, you, you, know, I mean, you know he's fucking. I would he's fuck the back of his ear. Dong. What? You heard me. <laughs> Is there any uh, information out there how big Obama's cock was? Huge. Like presidential. I think was. Mouth, and I'm like, <laughs> he said was. <laughs> what? He said how big was it? Yeah, well, you're a little bit bigger when you're in the office. <laughs> All that stress, blood flow. Yeah. Can you imagine being a president? You go down to the, you go down to the, what's that mission room? What's it called? Dude, what's but like, that room? There's so down? many people that work there. Uh, sir, your flashlight is ready. James oh Garfield. my God. He's the hottest and it's not he even has close. He blue eyes and it's a black and white photo. You know what I mean? <laughs> that is, you're right. That is crazy. Dude, those, those things must have been piercing. Wow. Nobody's got good hairlines. Maybe that's the secret to success. Well, there's no finesse drive back then. Yeah, that guy was definitely fucking with that hat on. Yo. Oh my God. That's a Are guy you... who had like a horse and buggy on cue. Like instead of an Uber black, he's like, you want to take the buggy home? A hundred percent. He my looks like he, in the buggy. He looks like he like finger a woman and then mint julep comes out. Yeah. Someone laugh. George. This is crazy. Is, that's George... the guy getting the 911 call right now. <laughs> <laughs> we're, Hold talking on, hot. we're talking about the steel beams. <laughs> who the fuck? Franklin D. Roosevelt. What does that D stand for? I'm <laughs> sick of it. This guy's not hot. Detroit. Are we stupid? I'm sure. I'm think. I'm thinking it gets like this it, list sucks. The chart just hits. It should just be JFK the entire. Who the through. fuck is that? Thomas Stay on Jefferson. money, you idiot. He looks like he'd be headlining Lollapalooza with that haircut. <laughs> <laughs> no. Warren G. Harding. The, that was a president. G. Harding is a great rap name. G. Harding is pretty good. <laughs> G Hard is great. Ooh, Ronald Reagan, I think, was was a hot man. He can, can do, you see Ronald, Ronald Reagan in his forties? Because he was a he was a very famous actor. Was he? Yeah, it, it would be like uh like George know, Clooney running for office. I don't know anything. All right. Wow. Dude, I mean, go to the one to the right. Yeah, dude, that's a man missile right like, there. Like wow. that dude pipes women. Zoom in on dude. her breasts. <laughs> and he got a library named after him. He's got more. Oh, look at that, dude! That dude, horse is wants to pipe him man. so bad. Yeah, that's a hot. That's that's America at our peak right there. Yeah, he's missing. What side was he? Republican or Democrat? Let me. Never mind. I know. <laughs> Bill Clinton. I don't think Bill Clinton was hot, but he had a way about him, and he got on a lot of flights. I think Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I think Bill Clinton was hot because he was an edgy guy. He was like edgy. gaslighting the world. He wasn't edging. He, he was played a fucking saxophone. But he, but he like got head. Right. Like that's what I mean, edgy. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Edgy for a present for sure. Yeah. Calvin Coolidge. He does look kind of hot. He looks like he can read fast. Yeah, I, he looks aerodynamic. <laughs> <laughs> that's also true. 
<laughs> he looks like a right brother. Get this Andrew cockatoo Jackson. idiot out of here. Five? Yes. No, 15. What? Sorry, what did you say? I said he's on the five. He's on the five. I thought, I'm sorry. I thought you said he is. Five. <laughs> oh, thought, no, we're clipping that. <laughs> what? We thought you meant dollars. <laughs> $15 bill. No, sorry. I, <laughs> you're lighting me? I was going to shoot you? <laughs> no. Um, Truman? No. He could eat a cooter. How Keep come going? How come all these presidents? Woodrow Wilson. Oh, yeah. He got that like uh, Clint Eastwood hotness. That guy? That was yeah, a big he, pull for me. He, he was. He looks a little mysterious. All right. James that Monroe. guy got his kids in his trunk. Who the hell is that? Dude, Buchanan is a fire last Who's name. Who's the guy uh, that they... Thought was frozen and Futurama put his head in a jar. I don't know. Wheelchair. Uh, Stephen Hawking. <laughs> Richard Nixon. Nixon. Was Nixon hot? Hold on, Nixon wasn't in a f wasn't in a wheelchair. I don't know. I get all my news from Futurama. No, Nixon was <laughs> not hot. Yeah. All right. He made that Watergate wet. All right. Honestly, it's pretty sad we don't know most of the presidents, but Why do we who need to cares? Know? We don't need to know these people. These, these people killed so many people. I don't know who the presidents are, but I can name every single person in the hype house, and that's all I need to know. <laughs> yeah. Well. So who's the last one? Hold on. So was this ranked in order? Yeah, this was the JFK order. JFK wasn't number one. Who was number one? And Ronald Reagan wasn't? Number one was Franklin Pierce. This is he looks, not he looks right. kind of young though. Like, you know, he looks that like, guy, yeah, that, but that guy's not hot. Like aesthetically, he's not class no, he's not classically hot. He That's kinda look awful. like no. Go really. to the top. Honestly. That guy sucks. If I look like that, then I'm ugly. That guy's fucking ugly. I got news for you. All right. He looks <laughs> like he has polio of the eyes. Does that make sense? <laughs> I fucking hate that guy. Well, guys, speaking of hot. We're going to cut to our brand new segment, unnamed segment, Ask a Woman. <laughs> unnamed Ask a Woman segment. And we're going to cut right now to it. You know, featuring the glorious Riley Reed. Riley, does it feel better when it goes in or when it goes out? <laughs> when what goes what in? That's a fuck? phenomenal question because I actually want to know the answer. Like when it goes it goes in or goes out. Yeah. It's like you talk about a penis inside a vagina. We're not talking about mail. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, what's up, a podcast? Is in and out. I thought we were talking about burgers. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying that when Why it first goes it in. Why would feel good going out though? If you hate the guy, man, get out of me. <laughs> That's true. That's or he's got a divorce. Or, or he's got a big mushroom head. <laughs> oh. The big mushroom head maybe out like but feels good. But why is a mushroom, oh. Cause like it's a catching, little... yeah. Pop. Not all the way out, I don't think he's saying. is just in and then the when tip. it comes out. And yeah, what feels better? This is a great question. Yeah. I don't know if they're separated. I is think. Is just one overall feeling? Yeah. I'm, I think it I is. Pussy. I don't know why I'm answering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I only typically feel it like like going in. I don't really think I'm feeling like That's this. That's a lot of range right there. <laughs> yeah, shorten the range up, How please. Big You're making it feel horrendous. <laughs> yeah, well, when my husband's anywhere about like this. Yeah, when, when it goes, when it goes when in. When it goes in and then out. <laughs> what is going on? What, how does sex feel if you had to describe it in like a just a sentence? You're, you're putting it in a poem, opening sentence of a poem. What okay. does sex feel well, like? Well, like I've had lots of different sex and so like, uh, sadly, a lot of the sex that I had is just like, just nothing. Just, just a paycheck. Just a paycheck. Yes. What about with your loving husband? Or other people, you know? With they, like, so, yeah, yeah, sex yeah, that I'm like enjoying. Yes. I would say like it going in is the most like. Like the first time? Yeah. Yeah. What does yes. it feel it's like? like? The first. Oh man, what does it feel like? Is there a word that comes to mind? Like like when I think about like when I vape, I feel like this like sense of like, like, like oh, you know, like, like what is that? <sighs> You know, <laughs> where you got a finger in your ass, you're like, dude, you get that, you're like, uh, it's like you're hydroplaning. Your brain is like, your brain's getting massaged. Like, yeah, it's, it's like, it, yeah, I, I feel what you're saying. It's something like you that. Yeah, it's like, do you? Yes, I do. What is it? What is it? Like that first insert, what is that like? Because when it goes like eyes roll back or like, yeah, it's like, like, it's oh. like melting. It's like Ooh, your body, like, is like, yeah. oh, and it's, it's a, like, it's a full body thing. Right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's like that initial insertion is definitely like, yeah, it's melting. It's like, how do you, how would I describe it? And how, trying to describe the sensation is interesting. 
I don't I can't think of how to describe like that feeling of it going in. You ever have your hand fall asleep? Yes. And then when it stops you jerk falling off of the asleep, bathroom, it feels like a stranger. Yep. But then when it, it slowly stops falling asleep, you're like, okay, there we go. That's no, because it's not like not a like pain okay. release. Because mm. that's like pain driven type. Okay. It's like a craving. It's like, I guess it is kind of like hitting that vape that you've been like craving. Yeah. Like you're, it's like. It's what like, about if you're starving? You're so hungry, and that first fucking. But again, bite, that's pain. Hungry. Okay. Okay, but is it not even not having a vape kind of painful? I mean, I guess to an extent, yeah. Maybe it's, maybe it's like, I How don't know, like, a, I was, I was trying to think, does it feel as good as like a big, like belly laugh? Like, you know, like one of those like big, like, oh, like you're like, yeah. like one of those kinds of like really good laughs where you cry and it's like, but it's not the same. It's not like that, but. Yeah. How would I describe it? Like, like when your dick when goes go inside in. a flashlight. <laughs> Just uh, just alluding to the fact that I've never had sex before. <laughs> Two very what different it, answers. Yeah. Inside of a vagina, you're like, it's a perfect alley oop to the dunk, and then you're hugged by warmth. Fleshlight, you're like, I'm alone. I'm in a <laughs> gas station bathroom. Yeah. The feeling. Uh, yeah, but it. But my methamphetamines are wearing off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that feeling only comes when you're done with the fleshlight. Yeah, but even, when you but first even, even inserting. I don't that, know. But the dude, the, the, the warmth I, of a, there's no warmth in a fleshlight. It's just like. Yeah, but you put it in the microwave. Uh, true. For like six seconds. Yeah, but you have a loving relationship, so that's why you don't feel this like sadness when you're masturbating. Your sometimes I do. Alone. When I'm on the road and I jerk off, I feel sad for sure. You feel sad? Yeah, they just come all over my tits. <laughs> I'm in fucking Minneapolis. <laughs> Not that it's a bad city, but I'm like away from home. I hate my pillow I'm in a Marriott. Oh, okay. yeah. You but know what I mean? I have like Cheeto a, dust on my feet. That I don't has even know nothing how to do with your climaxing, though. That yeah, when you climax and you're like, look around, you're like, what, where's my life? Post not Marriott. It's <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, po- <laughs> it's fucking, it, it's atrocious. Then you realize you just had like ramen noodles for dinner. It's four in the morning. Yeah. You can't it's fall asleep. So late. Yeah, it's I've definitely so had some of those like guilty masturbations oh, and afterwards. You feel like, like shit. And the hotel, oh, yeah. yeah, the hotel fan kicks on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shut up. You're like cold and hot. Yeah, it's the same feeling when you like ate too much cake and you're like, what am I? I was gonna say it feels. Kind of like gluttony. Yeah, yeah you it feel is gluttony. like yes. I feel because also, oh, yeah. so dude, oh, full of like shame. a waste of your day, dude, and that the too. energy. Yeah, you're like That's I could I have, have used this energy to do something I gotta, else. I got to go right to sleep after. If it's like 10 a.m. and I jerk off, it's the, the day's downhill. Yeah. I'm going M. Night Shyamalan. I already did backwards. I don't need anything else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to close the laptop immediately. I go Mormon the second I come. Do you masturbate <laughs> every single day? Uh, I don't. I used to multiple times, but my girlfriend lives with me, so like. Okay, flex. Yeah. Okay, fuck master over here. Fuck yeah, but no, I don't, dude. I don't like. We also the space thing. Correct. And you feel like. But like, like sometimes I don't want to have sex. I just want to masturbate. Yeah, I, I understand for sure. And I mean, I I think it is. It's there is a difference. Like, I think yeah. it's super important to have sex with yourself. It's a very important, like, aspect. Separate sex lives. Yeah, it is. Sometimes you want to just go in the fucking shower and just beat your cock like you stole something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How did we get here? <laughs> is I this think, the answer? The answer what was the question? <laughs> the answer is in, right? I think You'd it say, is. Oh, it feels better in? Yep. Yeah. Well, it's I it's guess for good. us, it feels better in, too. Like that in. Yeah, it, it's everything. It's the you're, connecting you're pieces. <laughs> It feels better when you're, <laughs> yeah, when you're in, yeah, yeah. You're, you're able to press against the the clit and stuff like that. It's so. just it's worlds colliding. Because I don't like this. this. <laughs> I like this. Bumping and grinding. Yeah, you're like rubbing on the clit. This does not. You're like smacking my clit like this. That doesn't feel good. It's the grinding <laughs> against the clip that on. feels good. Okay, no, no, okay. But this, is, but this, this is, checks out. There's for everything. um, what is that called? It's like a making love. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Have, having sex like that, where you're at, where you're in, and you're sort of like using your pelvis to yeah. grind on the clip. What is yeah. it called? Grinding. Bump no, and grind. It's, there's a it's a, it's a sexual life? it's a sexual term. It's like it's literally there's like a, there's an acronym like for it. Like a karma yeah. sutra type term. Something Ooh. like that. Yeah, for sure. Um. But yeah, so so that and, taught me everything I needed to know. Did you not that? already know that? The bumping and grinding stuff, not right. Yeah. yeah, dude, if you're in, bro, if you're in and you can feel the pelvic, you can feel her pelvic bone, and you just and on your pelvic bone, you can kind of feel it. So, you, like this, your dick, and you right here. Sorry, right here, you feel her clit, 
And then all you do is just use this part you're in and just use this part to grind her clit. Yes. But it's crazy. It's awesome. I need a sex coach. Dude, no, no, I need somebody to watch me and be like, here, what you doing here? I'll do help this. you. Please. Put it like, I, I would like, I just want to know. Because we're just taught sex ed in seventh grade and then you just figure yeah, it out. Yeah, and then you watch porn and porn is not like teaching They're not you bumping and we're, grinding. We're opening up for the camera to see. Yeah. This yeah. is genius. Yeah. 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 But what's great about the I'll let you know. Too, bro. Meet at a park. You don't, is you don't come. Like you don't come fast. Mm. Because you're not going in and in and out. You're in and then all you're doing is bumping the clit so you're not moving your dick so you can last forever. Because you're actually not fucking. Genius. If you can keep your dick hard. Some if guys do keep... struggle and will get soft when they're doing that. Mm. Which is annoying and frustrating. Blue it's chew. Put yeah. the ad in. It's warm in there. <laughs> it's cozy. <laughs> Makes you want to take a nap. What answer is that? Thank you so much for your advice, Riley. I don't know what you do without you. Honestly, You're I'd be genius. lost. I'd be soft. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> let's answer our own questions. All right, guys, let's get into a sock talk. Drew wants to know why do crazy cat ladies have the best sex? Because they know how they're to always work around, around pussy. That pussy. Hey, man, we should do a podcast. We should, and we're going on tour with one. Um, I, don't I, know. I, I think they're. I, I think, think they're, they're homebodies. They're yeah. always home, so mm. they know how to fucking work around that. You know, they're they're they're, they're they use a little bit more vibrators because dog people always got to go out and walk around, and you know they're they're always adventurous. Mm. I think if you had a cooter, it would not be great. Yeah, it would be destroyed. <laughs> I would be shoving everything in there, dude. The way women describe orgasms, I would be shove. What's I would, the first thing you'd put in there? I would literally. Uh, Get a giraffe, kill it, cut its head off, <laughs> taxidermy it, and shove it in my fucking old pussy. It would be That's crazy. That's like a six-week process. <laughs> and I think you go to jail for that. <laughs> jail for the giraffe. <laughs> you got to taxidermy it, just the head and the neck. What about the body? Don't care. Give it to the zoo. <laughs> Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. I would shove it oh so far God. in there, it would come out of my fucking mouth. <laughs> Yeah, I'd put a three wood in there. Oh, yeah. Four? <laughs> no, five. Make me come harder. <laughs> I mean, literally, like people's tripods, I would try to, try to shove a lime scooter in there. Hulk it would be fist. insane. Oh, whole fist would be a Tuesday. No, Hulk fist. Oh, yeah. That's a Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would make myself come all the time. But yeah, it would be destroyed. If I had a cooter, it would be abs. It would, it would look like a slip and slide. It would be <laughs> fucked up. A slip and slide during the winter? Yeah. Just shoveled in the garage? <laughs> have you ever dated a cat lady? Yes. No, I have not. They got the best cootie. They do have good cootie because they're insane. Okay. Yeah, I'm not shitting on it. I'm just saying. It's like two separate things. Cat lady insaneness? No. No, I'm saying you can have a good cootie but also be insane. But they're still, more of the story, good cootie. The cootie's good, but, but it's not like it... It the cat ladies have good cootie because they're insane. Most of them. I think they're homebodies, so the more home, the you know, the warmer. Yeah, but then they smell like home. Good. Ew. Take out the M. Ho. <laughs> Hold on. Yep. You're Checks right. Out. I'll be doing spelling. <laughs> so I'm I'm out. I'm out on crazy on crazy cat ladies, dude. Are you leaving if you walk into her house and then she has a cat? No. And does it One depend? cat? No. One but cat's a cat fine. Lady How? seems like a like a I lot. I think two of cats. cats is where you draw the line. Anything over two is like, hold on. Same with kids. You got two kids, I get it. Three kids. <laughs> How many baby daddies and how many are in prison? How long do I have before they come home? Do they know I'm here? How old are all the kids? <laughs> draw on one of them. Do you have an aquarium? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that bears eat the other people's kids so they can bang the other bear. Yeah, they do that. Yeah, yeah. A lot of nature does that. To so, because the mom's taking care of the kid, they're like, oh, but what if you didn't have a kid? They're like, yes, be down to fuck. And yeah. then they just eat the bear then to fuck. Well, they eat the kids because they want to know that the kids are theirs. So, they eat the kids like, all right, clean slate. Give me that cooter. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. They literally do that. I think we should start doing it. So, they don't have no step bears. None. They <laughs> unlock their fucking jaws and swallow that shit like gummy bears. Get it? <laughs> um, really? Yeah. It is Dun a clean slate. Wow. Dunzo. So if you're a bear and your husband leaves a family and you're the child, you're like, please do not get remarried. A hundred percent. You're parading that there's no stepdad because you're R.I.P. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. There's got to be a better way to 
Just leave. Yeah, I would slash my mom's cootie in but half so no one the, would want to fuck it. But there's probably a lot more love in the bear community. <laughs> what nobody, love? There, nobody leaves. Oh, but the, the dads don't care. The dad's out. That is true. If I'm hungry, I'm leaving my wife, eating other people's kids, <laughs> slamming new cootie. Being a bear is awesome. <laughs> There's always fish. You're always getting sushi. Listen, you're in West Hollywood. You can be a bear. <laughs> I'm too small. Yeah, you're a cub. I'd be a gummy bear. Cub scout. Same joke again, Michael. Yo, if no. you're looking for <laughs> younger gay dudes, are you a cub scout? <laughs> is that crazy? I, I think it's a pedophile. A well, Cub Scout is? You didn't have to go that route. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying if a bear's a bear and you're like, yo, I, I want right before they get to a bear. You know? Like he oh, got a little oh, bit oh. of hair on his chest, not a lot. Oh, right. What's Cub it? Scout. Cub Scout. I All think right. so. No, no, no. no, no, no I, I'm, I'm just, dude, I'm just, I'm just trying, I'm trying <laughs> to get, co-host. did you just shoot me? Yeah. I'm a bear. Eat him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dude, secret side. That's crazy. That's crazy. Like yeah. if, if your mom's a bear and she starts flirting with another bear and you're a kid, you're like, oh no. Oh, you got to leave immediately. <laughs> Post no regret must go crazy though. <laughs> Dude, imagine you're both laying in bed, the bears, smoking on some honey. And you're like, oh man, that's great. And then the wife's like, oh fuck. <laughs> oh. Theodore! Oh, yeah. My little teddy bear! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally, because the, the, the bear I in that couldn't the, get in my chair. The male in that situation is like, wow, I'm hungry. And the For mom close. bear goes, wow, you I'm want a quesadilla? Horny. And the dad bear goes, nah, I want to eat your children. Yeah. And the woman bear goes, I already swallowed your children. Semen joke. I washed a condom down the toilet and I said, bye kids. I thought it was kind of funny. Recently? Yeah. You're using condoms? Michael. What? We just talked about this yesterday. I don't know my yeah, middle name jerk right off. now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man. If a lady wants you to use a condom, you use a condom. Of course. All right. Isn't it funny that it's their choice though? Because if they don't ask, but the second you're she going goes, in a raw. If they don't ask. Yeah. Isn't it funny? It's or or if I'm like, oh, I don't have any. She's like, oh yeah, just. I guess they're not checking wristbands out of that fucking front door. Oh Shame. hell no! There ain't no goddamn bouncer. <laughs> Look at that thing. There's a giraffe in there. <laughs> Shall we move on? Yeah, let's do secret sock. Um, this says, I like to smell my girlfriend's used thongs and then bust a nut in them. Well, the first half I was on board with. Used thongs, I'm out, and bust a nut in them. I could get on board with that. <laughs> Wait, what? So I, you and I together make the perfect person. Yeah. You and I make him. <laughs> used thong? What, why are you out on it? To smell a used thong? I don't know. Women smell so much better than men. It's not like a jock strap. You never had like a one night stand and seen like some panties left over and be like, hey, what type of Febreze? Hold on. I need to ask you this question. Have you found like yes and yes. panties in the. You what, what do you and mean? have you smelt the panties? I mean, Don't back out now. Yeah, I mean, I'll give it a fucking little Merlot sniff. A little like. Really? You've never? No. And you'd think I would. I never have in my life. Yeah. You have? Yeah. You've never seen Wow, I'm the never, this is this is actually had like the a complete one, opposite. I'm not texting her and be like, hey, pheromones going off, but like you never had like a one night stand girl forgot her like panties and they're saying like, on the bed, you're like, let me uh I've I've never just out of curiosity? No, I've I've, n- I've never done it. And again, you'd you would expect smell me to smell socks, you fucking freak. <laughs> yeah. I've never I mean, maybe. No, I've that ne- I mean maybe. I've smelled I mean I definitely I've told you guys I've smelled bath towels. I've smelled like jackets before. <clears> but I've never smelled, smelled like a, No, because they don't they're not appealing to me. Like like odd smells are not are not appealing to me. You've never smelled like a thong? No. Not even I've never smelled like a girlfriend. Never. Just, it doesn't it doesn't never in your entire streets days. No. Never. No. Get the lie detector guy back in here. <laughs> yeah. No, I've never have. I mean, dude, the the stuff the amount of stuff that I've told you on this podcast, there's no way that this would be my line of not telling you. Interesting. Yeah. I mean I've literally taken my mom's panties and put them on a fucking pillow and fucked the pillow. <laughs> so there's no way I wouldn't tell you that I didn't smell them. Why is it quiet? <laughs> because you're making it seem like I'm the weirdo and you're out here just piping down incestual linens. No, no, no. <laughs> bed, uh, bed, bath, and beyond turns into that. What about the incest? Um, no, I don't know. Incestual linens. I don't think you guys are weird. Title. I just, I just, I've never, I've just never done it. I've been, I've been tempted to put on panties before. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I never have, but I, I've been. There's tempted. time. There is time. Yeah. You've definitely put on a bra before, I bet. Yeah, I think he. We've done I think it at we, this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I meant. Alone. I will say, you put a thong on, you feel like you're packing. <laughs> yeah, I bet. God damn, my dick's spilling out this g string. <laughs> if it's not, what? I'm saying, if it's not, like that's crazy. Oh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is true, dude. If you put on, if you put on your fucking girlfriend's panties and your dick ain't coming out, well, of it, I was like, I issue. remember looking at like those Macy's catalogs and the male models. Like you'd see the bulge, and you're like, dude, that's a that's a hefty bulge. They went double meat on that scoop. And then I, I'm like, do, do I have that bulge? No. Not when you're looking well, at those. Right. Now? I barely have a bulge. Mm. Sometimes it looks cool. Yeah. But angles. other times I'm like. It's all about the angles. It's the angles and all about the underwear. It's like my nose front on looks small, but from the side, you're like, oh, he's packing. So I think the side, you know, you got some boxes on from the front. Eh. Yeah. Side. Hey, yo. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes not. Dude. Sometimes I literally have no bulge. And I'm like, what's going on? I like I make I I'm like pissed off at myself. The fuck's going on here? Nothing. Give me something. There's yeah, nothing, nothing. Going on down there. I think side bulge is the equivalent of a uh, side, side tip. Boob. Yeah, side boob does go hard. Do you think women like? Maybe we should ask Riley this question. Do you think women like the look of like bulge? Yeah, yeah. I think raw dick. No, side bulge. Yeah. But I want. I mean, women definitely like the the look of a dick. I don't think soft. Really. You're just laying there after and your dick's just like fucking KO'd. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that I don't think does anything. Or maybe it does. Maybe it's like defeated. I think my but dick I think looks, you're just in the shower. Yeah. I think my dick's, I got a pretty dick post like 17 minutes after coming. Pretty? I think it's, I, I like anything. What's I think he doing my, with a ring light? It's just, I think my dick is aesthetically pleasing. I need to see it. <laughs> I'll show I'll literally take a picture and show it to you. Picture? Oh, you want to see it live? Yeah. <laughs> the fuck you sending me nudes for? <laughs> oh, babe, it's for Trevor, I swear. <laughs> oh, my God. How the fuck do you explain that? <laughs> for a podcast segment. Well, guys. Did we do it? We did it. That's been another installment of the Joe Rogan podcast. Call her daddy. That's us. We are. We are that. We are that. We are you. We are everyone. And we are, most importantly, him. Cut that part out. Leave it nah, in. No, leave it in. Shit. Guys, we're out. Thank you so much. We love you guys. Uh, buy tickets to our freaking tour. All right? We are literally co-headlining a tour and doing our live Stiff Socks uh, Go show. Co-headline. Head, head. On, head. That's when I'll see head. it. Yeah. I'll head. show it to you on stage. Headline. That's yeah, probably please. illegal. We'll see you next Wednesday or Patreon on Friday. God bless. I love you. Got a big old dick. Yep. Seeing it.